Alright, so what is up, everybody? It is your host with the most from coast to coast. I'm Remy Man here, and today I am just going to show you guys things that you may or may not know about Minecraft. I believe that there are eight or nine here, so yeah, let's get into this. Number one. You can, uh, you cannot be shot by standing inside of a door by standing in the door frame and, and closing it. A skeleton or other mobs cannot attack you, but yet, if you inch out at all, they can. However, by standing in a door that is got a block right behind it, the skeleton will still be able to hit you. Number two. As we all know that if a fence is in a hole between blocks and then there's a fence on top of it, or even if there isn't, you can walk right up to it because it's only half of a block higher. But seeing as how nether, or not nether wart, soul sand is a half of a block lower than regular dirt, you have to jump. Number three. A mob such as skeleton or zombie can wear pumpkins on their head which will prevent them from burning in the sunlight and also with zombies if you give a zombie an item it doesn't necessarily have to be a carrot just any item to hold they will not despawn usually zombies will burn in the daylight Number four. We all know that in 1.5 there was a new block added known as the daylight sensor. But what many people do not know is if you put a daylight sensor with a block over it and a repeater and a block over the repeater and to the sides and in front of the repeater, it creates something known as a moonlight sensor. So it acts as though it's a solar panel. Number five. Some of you may be wondering, how do I put a chest or a double chest beside a double chest? Well, that's simple. If you put a trap chest beside a regular chest. But the other thing I wanted to show you with chest on here is that chests do not occupy a full block. So you can just jump on the same block that a chest is on to get on top of the chest. Number six. Chests, seeing as how they are not a full block, as you can see, the hitbox of that block ends before the chest does. A fence post will not even connect to a chest. So you still have to jump, but it will not even connect to the chest. Number seven. You can place signs floating in midair as long as you place one on a block. Then you can just place them on that same sign. But as soon as you break one, I mean break the one the block, you can use this technique to float gravel and sand. However, see, it all falls. But if you just break this one, or say this one, They only fall for which one it needs. Number eight. Like this, you can shoot through it. This is a cool home defense technique because it's not the easiest in the world for skeletons to shoot through it. And you can hit mobs that are on the outside. Number nine. If you create a regular cobblestone generator, and place a piece of redstone where the cobblestone supposed or where the cobblestone will generate. You get obsidian. It works with the double generators. And also, lava will only occupy four spaces. Wait. Yeah, that is four there. <laughs> See, it will not go to five. 
number 10. Okay, guys, so I don't really have any proof of this. I'm just going to tell you guys. I was trying to write my own mod, which is a lot harder than it seems, but I was just trying to figure out how to write code and stuff. So I looked at the Minecraft jar. I looked at the code that they put into it, and I discovered something that is really cool in the code, but it says that if you grief or troll on a server, mainly troll, if you troll on a server seven times in a row on the same server, they will